Hello there, fellow babies. Fellow babies. Yes, I have been watching way too much WKRP in Cincinnati, which is one of my very favorite shows ever on TV. I worked at a radio station that was exactly like WKRP. It was called WRPL. It was in Charlotte. Same cast of characters. I really can't tell you just how similar the place that I worked was exactly like WKRP. It was a great experience. It was a lot of fun. Okay, I've got three things to go in the shop today. The first one is one of our loose, loose, <laughs> loose leaf, Lucy. Um, we're calling these uh, junk journal inserts. Uh, we're calling them bookmarks. We're calling them all kinds of fun and pretty. We're calling them tuck spots because they, you can hear my floor creaking. I'm sorry. Uh, let me grab, I'm looking for a, uh, a tuck spot. Um, a tuck spot. How I can show you tuck spots? I'm sorry, I'm disorganized. Hang on. Collar hole, please. Okay. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a pleasant Friday evening. <laughs> okay. These are our um, junk journal tuck spots. Remember, these are um, these are. Uh, sweet little mixed media pieces that you can just stick into a book and they really do just kind of enhance the look of the book. They make them look a little more mysterious and uh, I love the whole look of the abandoned thing. I don't know if you guys know Seth Lawless. I will put a link uh, below to Seth's site so you can see some of his work, but I am just very intrigued with um, the abandoned and I like for my um, my Loose Lucy's to really look like it's just an abandoned piece of paper that you might pick up somewhere. Okay, um, let's go through the tuck spots here. I love the colors on this one. And I um, I have not gotten to answer my uh, comments at YouTube, but uh, I did have a comment about the big splashes of color against the vintage papers. And yeah, I like it too. And thank you for noticing that. There was just something cool about the brightness against the... Um, the the patina vintage text pages that we have going on. This it's a lot of fun to work that way. Okay, first little tuck spot is here. You can see one here. And we've got one back here. This entire thing is like a tuck spot right here. And then of course the back of your loose Lucy does have an envelope tuck spot. Always be careful about tuck spots, y'all. Uh, not just mom, but anybody else's because you don't know if they've used glue or if they've used double stick tape. In my case, I use both of those things. Um, so, you know, you don't want to jam things into a tuck spot and then not be able to get it out. Uh, this has a sewn tuck spot right here. And there's also one right here. And, of course, one on the back. These are, of course, my Charleston-themed Loose Lucy's. And um, I think we have some Charleston fans out there because they have certainly been kind of flying out of the shop, which is super cool. Now, this is a tuck spot, but it would be a very narrow piece of paper that could be tucked in here. And this is a tuck spot back here as well. And, of course, one on the back. And there is a tuck spot here on this one. Again, that really bright pop of color against the patina of the um of the um the the vintage papers just looks it just adds a little um intrigue and interest to that stack of loose Lucy's and let's call her Charleston. And that will be going in the shop tonight. Thank you guys for supporting that so much. I really do appreciate it. I um, also have some pockets to go in the shop because at night, you guys, I cut for our pocket project. And I have a lot of things that I've cut. Um, oddly, I made this pocket 
I guess, several weeks ago and then forgot to list it. So when I was cleaning today, I stumbled across it and thought, well, duh, I think I probably need to do that. And I looked at the Etsy shop and sure enough, I had not listed it. Um, this pocket is called Cut It Out. It has some super cool illustrations uh, to start us out right here. I don't know what this says. Um, like I said, I did it a long time ago. Good day. That one says good day. And it has a, a leaf button right here. It has some autumn imagery here and a road leading to, where's that road leading to? You tell us. Uh, this pocket says start here. And it has some of those cool alphabet thicker stickers in it. This one says you go. And it has a girl exercising in it. Have you guys done that? Are you are you um, are you goal oriented? <laughs> I I thought I was going to really jump into the new year with a new fitness routine. It just has not happened yet. But here's the thing: I am not going to beat myself up about that. I have I'm I, you know what my my resolution was this year to not beat myself up. So I think it's a really good one. This pocket is called Things That Delight Me and there's a bug image there's a bug image back here. This one says Roar. This one says all about that remix and it has some bling, you know, kind of a pink pocket right here. Um this one says Once and I love this image right here of the I think this is from Jay Peterman. You know, the, the lady has no face, and I really do like that. And a little bit of vintage lace for you. This one says crochet. So let's flip this over. This pocket says elements of design, and there's some pottery um, imagery in here, so I thought the P would be appropriate. This one says time. I really love the pointing finger. This one says your move and world map. This pocket says happiness, and it's got uh, some cocoa ephemera in here. This one says lesson learned, and I, I really do love this because the uh, the image back here is of a lady um, teaching a young girl how to use an old-fashioned computer. So you can see that right there. And here's Miss Sassy, you know, 2019, learn um, using her iPad, which I love. This one says better life. This says Pepsi Cola, Hallowed Memories. This one says Extravaganza. And this one says My Dream Vacation, which I thought was super cool. Uh, and of course, these do come with a, uh, a bead strand. But I, the bead strand's really hard to work around when I'm trying to show these to you guys. Okay, this pocket says On Your Own. I love the llama. Uh, this one says bashful and coy. This one says progress. This is M Madame Curie, and she is working uh, with radiation. And there's another scientist back here working with x-rays. This one says sunrise. This one says positive. This one says you are my sunshine. And I love the yellow button right there, the big yellow button right there. Um, this says shower and has some butterfly napkins in here for you to decoupage. This one says you are here. This one says good. Flip this one over. This says the code. I like that. There's something about that purple and um, the the gold star, the gold sparkly star. And there's a, a hand right here. You know, the lines on your hand tell a story. This one says eats. This one says country wine. This one says absolute satisfaction, and it has a picture of a kitty cat, because they do like to go for that absolute satisfaction. This one says style and substance. This one says a hidden treasure. This one says elegant, and I think she is from our 1985 Country Living magazine. I love this lady. She's vintage, and she's using vintage cameras. This one says Mysteries in London, and this one has um, a, a watch buckle right here. I just thought that that was uh, very interesting, so I put that in there. So there we go, you guys. We've got two pockets and one Lucy.
to go in the shop a little later on this afternoon or this evening now. Thank you guys so much for your kindness, for your support, for your enthusiasm. I'm just always blown away, blown away and blessed. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.